Hello everyone, this is TG back here after long long time that's about 1 to 1.5 months. So happy belated Christmas to you and that's just about 2 to 3 days left for the 2016 to start. And look, let's talk about the tech of the next year and we'll be talking about the Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 that's believed to be one of the most strongest rather powerful processors of the next year. Let's get started. First feature of the Snapdragon 820 is insane networking speeds. Snapdragon has included an X12 LTE modem inside which theoretically is going to give 600 Mbps of download speed as well as 150 Mbps of upload speed. That means that you are just going to download apps, surf the net, watch videos, movies etc in the blink of an eye. The Snapdragon 820 goes 3D audio means it's going to provide an effect of surround sound through a set of headphones even with the rubbish earphones or headphones that come inside the box of your shiny new smartphone. It also allows you to record 3D audio for giving an extra dimension to your home videos plus it also helps you record audio directionally and also helps you to remove all those annoying background noise in your videos to make it much more crispy. Photographies means almost a pain for the smartphone cameras to take but Snapdragon has it covered. It's going to make some software enhancements so that it can remove the noise in the pictures completely so it can give much more crispier, sharper and brighter pictures so that you don't have to use a DSLR anymore for taking night shots. Another area where the smartphones lose today's battle is battery life and Qualcomm says that the Snapdragon 820 is 30% much more efficient than the previous versions of the processors and it means that the CPU, the GPU, the modems and all other components are going to work in a much more efficient pace and this processor is also going to enable the support of Qualcomm's Quick Charge 3.0 it means you have wireless charging and that to a fast one in just a few minutes. The predecessor of the 820 was the 810 and it received many complaints from users regarding overheating issues and it would lead to crashing of the smartphone, draining of the battery as well as oh, it was too hot to handle. But now Qualcomm says that its new processor, the A20, will be having improvised thermal efficiency so that you don't have to handle a hot phone again and in exchange, you get increased battery life and it's a win-win. So thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you like it and I'm thinking of bringing much more content into this channel in a few passing days. And I was also thinking that if I could do a collaborative video with my friends out there who like to talk about tech, so it would be fun. So. Please share, like and subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for more videos coming up. I'll see you in my next one.